Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a crossroad game in Construct 3. So you're seeing the end result now, well, let me show you. We pick up a crate and we have to reach the other side of the road without getting hit by a car. So let me tell you now, the game is more difficult than you would think. Um, uh, not yet. Okay, so when we uh, cross the road, we can uh, leave the crate um, at a rock. And we have to cross the road again to get pick up the next crate. Oh, okay, so it's more difficult than you think. So let me show you how that works. So this is the main layout of the game. It contains a number of layers. You can see it here. Um, the background layer contains a tile map. This is the tile map. I got it from the HIO store, the Kenny Game Assets, a very good game assets library, if you ask me. So I just created some horizontal lanes here, that's it. The cars layer is where the cars get spawned. Um, and the guy layer is where the little man walks on. This little man here. So the little man has actually two behaviors uh, attached to it. The bound to layout will make sure that it doesn't move out of the layout. And the eight directions um, behavior will make sure that the user can control it uh, using the key controls. Um, the man also holds an instance variable called crate, uh, which can hold the UID of a crate that was picked up. The rocks where the crates have to be placed upon hold an instance variable called occupied, which becomes one once a crate has been placed on it. The cars are grouped into a car's family. And from the family they have the bullet behavior to make them move from one side to another on the layout. So the crates at the bottom of the screen uh, are the thing you have to pick up and they are pinned to the man when they are picked up so that's why they have the pin uh, behavior uh, they also have an instance variable called handle that denotes if the crate has been moved into place already or not lastly the pink squares here are spawners and they represent the places where cars can be spawned spawners have a timer object behavior so they can spawn a car every so much seconds Furthermore, they have three instance variables called speed, rate and direction to control the behavior of the cars when they are spawned. So let's take a look at the code. So on start of layout, all the spawners start their timers uh, with the timing based on the rate instance variable. You can see that here. The advanced random functionality is used to spawn a random car. Therefore, it's initialized here where every car has been given an equal distribution, so every car has an equal likelihood of being spawned. When the timer of the spawner fires, a new car is created using the advanced random weighted expression. The X and Y coordinates of the spawner are used to create the car at the correct place. Now, it's very important here that you add for each loop. It's a construct three quirk actually because this event will only be fired once if two spawners were to fire their timer on exactly the same moment so you have to add for each um, so we pick the last created car and we set the angle of motion of the bullet the car will then turn automatically to the right direction as the set angle attribute of the bullet behavior has been set we set the speed according to the speed in the spawner we set the bullet speed to the spawner speed and we slightly randomize the rate of firing so not all of the cars are spawned at exactly the same di uh, distance from each other. When a man overlaps a crate and the crate has not been handled yet, we pick it up by pinning it to the man and for that purpose an extra image point has been created in the man called pin. Let me see here, the image points, pin, there is where the crate will be attached. And once we do that, we uh, change the crate instance variable of the man and we put the crate UID in it. So that the crate UID can be used here. If the man overlaps a stone that's not occupied yet, the crate is picked up using the crate instance variable uh, of the man. So we uh, the man is overlapping a stone, the stone is not occupied, and we pick the instance using the man.crate instance variable we set here, actually. And then we just unpin the crate, we set the crate to handle, so we can't pick it up again. Um, we set the stone to occupied, so we can't place two crates at the same stone, 
and then we uh, just initialize the create instance variable again to reset it to be able to, for the man to be able to pick up a new crate because we check here for crate equals zero of course and finally when a man collides with a car the game is over so we just restart the layout so that's it for this uh, pretty simple game in only seven events as always please like and subscribe um, and if you're interested in this template, I will leave a shortcut to it or a link to it in the description of the video where you can find find it and download it on the Syrah store. Thank you very much for watching.